guys welcome back to my channel i'm really excited for today's video it is the if i could only choose one video in like the realm of palettes so i saw samantha march do this video a couple weeks ago and i thought it was such a fun video idea that i knew i definitely wanted to film it if you guys for some reason some very strange reason have not heard of samantha march or gone over to her channel i will leave her channel and her video linked below she is definitely a favorite here on youtube i love her channel you guys should definitely go check her out if again for some reason you haven't but but she filmed this video where basically she selected five brands from her collection that she had multiple palettes of she shared each of the palettes from that brand and then she shared the one palette that she would keep if she could only keep one of those palettes i hope that makes sense uh so i have five different brands to talk about today with you guys as well. We've got Juvia's Place, Joseph Colors, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Huda Beauty, as well as ColourPop. So those are the five brands that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I have this tank top like clipped up right now. And I feel like it's like cutting into my arms, like kind of weird. But if I didn't have it clipped up, we'd be showing too much. So forgive me for the shirt situation, but let's jump into Juvia's Place first. So I actually have six palettes from Juvia's Place that I have to share with you. So the first is the Deuce palette. I love this palette. I think it is so, so pretty. I love the shimmers in here. They're very unique and they are stunning. This is one of the palettes that I am working on a shade in right here for my 19 Shadows in 2019 project. If you guys are interested in that, I will link it in the cards. But I really do enjoy this palette, which upon like first impression, when I first saw this palette, I wasn't interested in it at all until I saw people's reviews or saw people recommending this palette. But super glad that I picked this up. I also have the Nubian Mini that I got in an Allure Beauty Box. This is a really nice, just super small and compact palette that is that offers like your everyday neutrals. A very good travel palette, beautiful, love this. I also have the Saharan palette by Juvia's. Obviously, these are all by Juvia's. Um, this is what this one looks like. Again, very, very beautiful. I, I think that all of Juvia's Place palettes are beautiful, so I mean, I could say that about every single one. What I love about this one is, is it offers some very unique colors. I love this hot coral color. Um, this blue shimmer is beautiful. This green shimmer is also very, very stunning. This Ima shade or Eye Man, I'm probably mispronouncing that. It has this blue shift to it that I also love. So just some very unique colors throughout all of the Juvia's palettes. I also have the Saharan 2, which is formatted like the Deuce palette. Um, again, a very stunning palette, offers some very beautiful like warm brown shades, but then you have these like fun pops of blue, you have this beautiful like orangey peach shade. So another really stunning palette. I have the Nubian 2, which my daughter has gotten into. This is so dirty. I should really just purchase another one of these. Another stunning, stunning palette, this green Egypt shade. I literally die for even though I don't wear greens that often however I've been getting more into greens so really love this one too you have some beautiful golds I think that's just such a fun gold um, just another great palette and then finally I also own the magic palette now this palette is a lot more colorful than the other ones but what I love about this is when I look into this I know I'm going to be forced outside my comfort zone with makeup so I like having this around for a colorful palette with lots of colorful shimmers I have a couple colorful palettes with a lot of colorful mattes but not so much shimmers so I really enjoy that for this I love this shade I just think it is so 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 unique love it uh so that is the magic palette now i'm not gonna lie the one thing the one gripe i have with the juvia's place palettes is i oftentimes feel like i can't just reach into one palette for a complete look in my opinion with my makeup skills and ability so it was a little bit tough for me to choose but the two that i came down to were the deuce palette as well as the nubian and the nubian mini is going to win out because this is a palette that i feel like i can reach into and create a few a fuel um a complete look super easy to use neutral everyday wearable i can wear this to work i can bring this traveling and i have 
not a wide variety of looks, but I can create probably like three to four looks with this. At least four. I have a lot of looks that I can do with this. This is right up my alley as far as like shades that I use from a day-to-day -day basis. So if I could only choose one of my Juvia's, this would be the palette that I would choose, which is kind of ironic since it's the smallest one. Next up, we're gonna talk about ColourPop. Now I actually only own four ColourPop palettes, which I thought I owned more. I feel like ColourPop releases palettes that I'm very interested in, but I always seem to be able to talk myself out of. This year, I challenged myself to only purchase five new eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm gonna fail at that challenge, uh, but it has has helped me it has helped talk me out of purchasing quite a few color pop palettes um first up we have the kathleen lights dream street palette i've talked about this quite a bit on my channel recently i love this palette i think it is phenomenal it offers a lot of warm neutrals some very beautiful shimmers and then i'll swatch my favorite shade in the entire palette mermaid boy it's like this green gold shifty shade you probably won't be able to see the green shift on camera, but it's stunning. Then we have my Element of Surprise. This is the first ColourPop pressed palette that I purchased. I wore this all the time when I first bought it, but I haven't worn it that much recently. Uh, I actually, I don't know if the video will be up yet, uh, but I included this in a palette chopping block episode where I'm talking to you guys about six palettes I'm considering decluttering and this is one of them just because I haven't worn it in a long time so need to get more use out of that and decide if I still like it I hope I'm not spoiling what my decision is going to be the she palette is also included in the chopping block I just don't think I like these tones on my eyes personally and I don't know if it's because my palette's getting older but I find the shimmers to be a little bit lackluster in this one so not a fave and then we have my ColourPop Perception palette in collaboration with Shayla. And I love this palette. I think it is stunning. The only complaint I have is you're only offered four matte shades. So you're a little bit limited with like your base. Like if you wanted to only reach into this, you're a little bit limited with the mattes. But there's some stunning shimmers in here. I love this like blue brown shade. It is in Sassy right there it is gorgeous this is a phenomenal palette i know that this i believe this was limited edition and i don't know if you can get it anymore but if you can this is one that i would highly recommend so if you couldn't guess my two my top two were the dream street and the color pop perception and if i'm being honest i think i'm gonna have to go with the dream street just because i feel like this is just more everyday appropriate for me and my lifestyle and i just love all of the shimmers in here i love the champagnes the rose golds and that mermaid boy shade i would be devastated to give up this shade this is one of my favorite eyeshadows in my entire collection and all of my palettes so i would definitely keep the dream street from ColourPop if i could only choose one ColourPop palette to keep all right you guys dose of colors i have six dose of colors palettes i love the dose of colors eyeshadow formula obviously i think it's phenomenal so i have the dose of colors Frencation palette in collaboration with desi and katie this is a phenomenal palette i love the mattes in here i think they are outstanding what i love about the shimmers in this palette too is that you can layer them to create different colors so you can layer like the red and the blue to create a purple shimmer so really cool and like you're left with more than just the 10 shades as far as color options are concerned because you can layer them an amazing palette it is pretty expensive though at 55 dollars. i did get mine for half off definitely recommend if they do the half off you pick this up because it is such a good palette um and then i have a lot of the five pan shadow palettes so the snow angels palettes what palette was one that was a holiday release looks like this it's a very interesting color story and not one that i typically reach for on a day-to-day -day basis but i felt like i needed it to complete my collection now i don't own the cool toned uh five pan eyeshadow palette but i do i feel like that's one that i need to just like complete my collection and purchase that one plus i love cool toned eyeshadows for like work looks um sassy siennas i love this one i didn't pick this up originally because i had the baked browns and i felt like the shades looked super super similar when i was seeing pictures online but then my ulta had these in store and if you look these actually like aren't really that similar at all except for like maybe this shade and this shade uh so i decided to pick this one up and i'm really glad that i did this is a 
beautiful warm tone palette that I absolutely love for the summertime. Obviously, I own baked browns too. This was my first uh, five pan that I owned from Dose of Colors. I love this. This has gotten so much use for me. This is so easy to travel with, so easy for me to pull out and create a work appropriate look. So love it for that. I also have blushing berries because it's just so beautiful and I had to own this. I know these are kind of like similar tones to the She Palette by ColourPop, but for some reason I like the looks that I create with the blushing berries. And then finally, I also own Marvelous Mauves, which I really do enjoy because I do love mauve toned eyeshadows as well. So I couldn't not pick this one up. And now for the tough decision of which one would I could, which one would I choose if I could only choose one. So it definitely came down to the Friendcation, the Sassy Siennas, and the Baked Browns. Hmm. And I still feel like I'm like a little bit up in the air. But if I could only truly choose one, I think I would go with Sassy Sienna's, which is crazy because I wasn't even going to purchase this palette. But I love the tones of this. I think it is so beautiful. I love warm, warm toned eye, warm toned eyes, warm toned eyeshadows on my eyes, specifically in the summertime. I just think they are so beautiful. I love this shade, which I believe is brassy. Um, and these, these corals are just really fun as well. So if I could only choose one dose of colors, I think I would keep my Sassy Sienna's palette. Okay, next up we have my ABH collection and I have eight of these. I don't know when this collection got so big. So let me just, I know you guys have probably seen these eyeshadow palettes a million times over. So I have Modern Renaissance. I have the master palette by mario i have soft glam subculture sultry norvina riviera and finally prism so I really do love my entire ABH palette collection. I would be devastated, honestly, to get rid of any of these, partially because I almost feel like I collect ABH products at this point. I'm not going to get the one that they just released because that reminds me so much of the Riviera palette. Uh, and I just don't need another colorful eyeshadow palette in my collection because I won't get that much use out of it. So I'm not like a complete completionist, if you get what I'm saying. But this was a really tough choice and I narrowed it down to my top three which would be soft glam sultry and the master palette by Mario so I'm gonna quickly talk about all three of these so the Mario palette is not the one I decided to go with and the reason I decided not to go with this one is because I do enjoy that you do have this cool toned shade which I love it's in the shade Lula and then you also have warm toned options but I don't reach for Claudia that much which is this blue one right here or Bronx which is this like olive shimmery green outside of that I do reach for most of the eyeshadows in this and I think that the shimmers are beautiful however I think that the shimmer however I think that the shimmers are a little bit even more intense and beautiful in the sultry and soft glam palettes so that's why I decided not to go with the ABH Mario so then we're left with sultry and soft glam and when it comes down to these two we have this beautiful sultry palette which offers a few warm tones as well as some cool tones and some absolutely stunning stunning shimmers but when it came down to it i decided to go with the soft glam palette because in the sultry palette i'm not going to be reaching into bloom that often or slate and honestly probably not neor either so that's three of the 14 shadows that i already feel like i'm not going to be getting use out of whereas in the soft glam palette the only shade that i could see myself not using a whole ton is neor which was also in the sultry palette if i needed a black it's there for me however oh the shimmers in here are just stunning i love being left with a red option. I just love those deep, rich, brownie red shades. So Mulberry is one of my favorite shades. I also absolutely love the Sultry Shimmer shade. And then, oh funny, Sultry and then Sultry. Uh, I love Dusty Rose. I'm left with like a mauve toned option if I'm feeling that. So if I could truly only keep one ABH palette, it would be soft glam. All right, you guys, and then finally we have my Huda collection. Now I have nine Huda Beauty 
palettes and actually they're all the mini obsessions i don't have any of her larger palettes so i recently picked up the neon orange palette so stunning and beautiful looks like this i also own two of her gemstone collection palettes i think they were the gemstones uh this is emerald obsessions looks like this a beautiful green palette and then i also have the amethyst obsessions which is clearly a purple and then I own all six of her original Obsessions palettes. So we have the Mauve Obsessions, which is stunning. We have Electric Obsessions, which is just this really fun nine pan colorful eyeshadow palette. Love. We have Coral Obsessions, which I don't reach for often in the wintertime, but in the summertime, it's fair game. This is a stunning palette. We have Warm Brown Obsessions, beautiful. We have the Gemstone Obsessions, which is an all shimmer palette, looks like this. And then we also have Smoky Obsessions, which is the coolest of all of the ones that I personally own. Can you guys guess which one I'm gonna choose? I'm curious. So when it came down to it, uh, if I were to rank my top three, it would have come down or it would come down to smoky warm brown and mauve but i didn't even really have to think about this i'm obsessed with the smoky obsessions palette palette i think it is beautiful i think it's stunning i have loved every single look that i have created with this i like this because i can just toss like one shade in my eye during the day and have just like a very neutral easy where to work type of look but then I can like amp it up and create a very smoky sort of sultry look for the evening time if I'm going out. It's such an easy palette to pair with like whatever makeup you're wearing too. So I just absolutely love the Smoky Obsessions palettes and hand down, bleh, bleh, uh, hands down, if I could only choose one Huda palette, it would definitely be the Smoky Obsessions. After that, you guys, that is going to conclude today's video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes are or some of your favorite brands to purchase eyeshadow palettes from. If you guys are interested in a part two to this, I have a couple other brands that I own multiples of that I could do a part two to this if you are interested. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.